technology brings us great opportunity on the one hand. Uh, like I was saying, I'm very excited about digital technology, about the computers and everything. But at the same time, we, we have the possibility of becoming these kind of mindless, skillless, passive drones, just consuming culture that's been uh, flattened and made the same for everyone. And, and so it takes some effort. It takes some effort to go out and, and, and preserve the practices and traditions that uh, exist in your neighborhood, in your community. So the question is, how do we uh, use technology without letting it dehumanize us? How does skillful behavior open up a space for us to have a memorable meaning? In the film, we, we, uh, we go back and forth between these philosophers who talk about these ideas and then people who are living them. And so we have a great uh, craftsperson, you know, this Japanese carpenter who takes, you know, eight years to make uh, a house and, and, and has an appreciation of the wood and what it has to, you know, the, the force that it exerts. Because that's the other problem with technology is sometimes it doesn't, doesn't push back at all. If, if you have technology just uh, uh, to passively like, cover up essential like, boredom, then, then you're in trouble. We have to combat passivity. That's, that's if, if I have one message, it's that active involvement in our world. So here's like, you know, making a film celebrating craft and appreciating it on this highly technologized medium. I like this kind of tension there, you know, and keeping that tension alive. <laughs>